few months ago we were lucky enough to have Paul Safry give us a talk about reptiles and his work with the Sydney Metropolitan uh, Wildlife Rescue Service. We didn't have a chance to show it all and today we're going to be able to show the information about the long-necked tortoise that he had. Okay, we have in here a damaged turtle at the back end. How's so that? what happened to his shell, Paul? Oh, I think he's been hit by a car. Really? Yeah, it was mo the most most probable of crossing the road and the car hasn't seen him, just gone straight over the top. Well, he survived. That's good yeah. news. Yeah, his one leg's, um, this leg's not protruding as much as it should. But he's, as you can see, he's, at least he's moving for the camera, which is good. Well, what is this uh, tortoise? This is a fairly common tortoise around Sydney. We refer to it as a long neck tortoise as opposed to a short neck. They are discernible, discerned by a white line that runs between the two layers of white and dark on, on the face in here. <laughs> Come out. And um, What turtle. I find really interesting are these things here. What exactly this, is this, that? This is something that I think one of our vets um, that we take these animals to who's a reptile mad. He's come up with this solution. They used to fibreglass them, but I, from the documentaries that I've seen, animals that have been fibreglassed, the fibreglass matting, the fibres were getting into the, through the shell and into the body and causing other problems with them. So this is, these are just plastic um, pipe clamps that are bought from your local hardware store. Here, here's nice. the underside of them. This, the same thing applies. It, um, to the best of my knowledge, as having been taught as late as last night, um, that the notch on the back there indicates that it's a, a male. Would it have survived without uh, this treatment? Probably, um, up to a point, but as I said, they're very slow to die um, and the injuries would have been, he would have gone into the water and the water would have got inside his shell because he's naturally waterproof. He would have gone, they, they feed in the water mm. and he would have naturally gone into the water to do what turtles do and the water would have got inside the carapace and then and cause him problems in there, probably would have gotten waterlogged oh. and foot rot. So or... if you see an injured uh, tortoise, who do you call? Well, you can call this mob, this t-shirt that I'm proudly wearing, um, with Sydney Metropolitan Wildlife Services, who are based at Lane Cove National Park. Uh, we pride ourselves in, in answering a telephone 24 seven. And the phone number for those that uh, are watching this video segment is 9413 4300. Now, Paul actually works uh, for Karingai Council. Uh, what advantage is there, Paul, in sort of working for Karingai Council and being a volunteer for Sydney Wildlife? I guess I can get a message out to the, the residents of the area that people, we've got a network of people who will ring us and inform us of um, an injured animal and we can go and respond quickly and get help to that animal. So do you think you save animals because you're actually Johnny on the spot? Yes, we try and answer the phone as quickly as possible and um, because you've taken the trouble to look after our animals, we want to assist you as well. I hope you enjoyed this month's EnviroTube. Stay tuned, we've had over 50,000 hits. It's really starting to get some traction and it's all because of you. Kids don't get to see tortoises anymore, which is a real shame because they're really, really beautiful animals and native to Karingai. Todd's one of our most important assets at the Wildflower Garden and he's used for education. <laughs>